Nigeria governor tells United Nations to monitor President Mamadou Buhari, the explosive reason. Governor Yesom Wiki has reached out to the United Nations and other world bodies to closely monitor President Mamadou Buhari. He pleaded with the UN and other world bodies to help check the activities of the president during the 2023 elections. Wike, who is advocating for credible electoral process in Nigeria, appreciates the UN envoy for their selfless service to the development of the state. The River State Governor, Yesom Wike, has called on the United Nations and other world bodies to mount pressure on President Momodou Buhari to conduct free and fair election in 2023. The governor made this appeal during a working visit by the United Nations Resident and Humanitarian Coordinator Edward Callon at the government house in Port Harcourt. The Punch reported that Wiki specifically urged the United Nations Agency to continue to advocate for a free, fair and transparent electoral process in Nigeria. Wiki, who spoke through his deputy, Iqbalibo Hari Banigo, said River State believes that threatening democratic institution was the way to go. Pay attention, install everything straight. The governor expressed regret that at a time when the country when the country was moving on digital form, she could not pass an electronic transmission of results, which according to him would cope insecurity in the country. Wiki added, likely you have rightly said this country has a good role to play in the West African scene. We are condemning what is happening in Guinea. We spoke against what is happening in Mali. We also have to demonstrate it here. We cannot allow this country to go into 2023 election without the electronic voting passed as a bill. We cannot. Please use whatever the advocacy level you can use. I think this is the time to speak loud and clear because the stability of a democratic nation all over the world is based on its electoral process and if the electoral process continues to be insincere and continues to be non-transparent there cannot be any peace governor wiki expressed delights for the partnership between the state government and the u.n he thanked the united nations resident and humanitarian coordinator and his term for their selfless service in the states in his remark, the United Nations Resident and Humanitarian Coordinator in Nigeria, Edward Callon, said her visit to River State was to reinforce the partnership between the United Nations and River State government. He said such partnership as present will address the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic and accelerate implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals to build back better and continue to create durable solution for economic transformation in the state, adding that several UN agencies have ongoing programs in River State. The UN envoy commended the governor for his administration commitment to better the lost of the river's people. It would be recalled that former Vice President Atiku Abubakar met with River's governor Yesom Wike in Port Harcourt to reconcile their differences ahead of the 2023 general election. The nation report indicates Atiku's visit to Wike was the first since he reportedly outsmarted the governor to emerge presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, against Wike's preferred aspirant and Sokoto governor, Aminu Tambua, in 2015. It was recently reported that Wike and Atiku were in separate camps in the battle for the fate of Prince Uche, secondos as national chairman of PDP. Earlier, some party loyalists are apparently dissatisfied with the crisis rocking the People's Democratic Party PDP. The members of the party's reconciliation committee, led by a former Senate president, David Mark, have visited Governor Yeson Wike of River State. The report indicates that Mark and seven other members on Tuesday, August 31st, 
had talks with Governor Wiki over the crisis in the party for about three and a half hours. Gathered that the members tabled a three point agenda, including asking him to prevail on Rivers PDP members to withdraw the court case, which led to the suspension of Prince Uche Secondos as the national chairman, seeking his opinion on how to move the party forward and reconciliation with Secondos. Okay. I think, first, we have to talk about the case of the UN. I don't think that the UN really has anything to do as it stands right now because as it stands, we must say that they have already disappointed us a lot. Because first, with us being under the United Nations and so many things have been happening in the country like this and they allow Buhari to still be feeling so relaxed and welcomed in Nigeria, then... I don't really think the UN really has the power like they claim they do. Because if they do have the power, they wouldn't, they wouldn't have allowed Buhari to continue to terrorize the people of Nigeria the way he's doing and we are doing nothing about it. And yes, we, uh, we, yes and Wiki feels that they can do something concerning the election in 2023. Well, let's cross our fingers and see how this whole 2023 election is going to play well talking about this pdp people gathering and talking and making reconciliation and talking on how the 2023 election is going to be i pray they reconcile themselves soon and join hands together and try to beat this apc out of power because then we used to think that the pdps were the devils that we don't want them anymore we wanted pdp we wanted a change the change we've gotten has hit us so hard that we never want to pray for anything of such again so at the stands right now the pdp reconciling and becoming stronger like they were before is what we hope for and pray for them but in other words the 2023 election is something we don't know if it's really going to take place with so many agitation every year and there we don't know how this is going to play out let's quickly hit the comment section and help people's take on this someone here said i too love the boldness of this governor if we have three bold governors like this hmm, what bold what bold about what he said the opposition don't say when it gets to election period how did he become a governor in 2015 who they deceive who hmm. someone said don't mind that fool bro all these useless politicians are corrupt hmm why someone here say oh my goodness please our president Buhari don't have here again so force him okay okay i think this is enough for now it is true indeed that i said the president has here problem so i wouldn't be surprised maybe that is why he can't hear the cry of the masses but i hope with so many pressure pounding on him then definitely he will hear the cry of the masses definitely that is what we hope you can hit the comment section and share your take on this article thanks for listening